Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk about a dystopian future that is increasingly real in front of us. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. If the elite get their way, our world will eventually look far more bizarre than any science fiction author ever imagined. If you haven't figured it out by now, the elite are control freaks, and they are envisioning a future, in which they are in control of all of our lives from birth to death. Instead of being born and raised a traditional way, humans will be mass-produced in birthing pods. Those that are genetically superior will be permitted to live, while those that are genetically inferior will be harvested, and any spare parts that are not of value for scientific research will be discarded. As children grow, education will be a top priority, but only material specifically approved by the elite will be permitted. In fact, free thought and free speech will be a thing of the past if the elite get total control. Everyone will think the same way, because no other alternative will be allowed. And anyone that shows signs of rebellion will quickly have their digital currency privileges revoked. I know that all of this may sound quite strange to many of you, but this is what our society will look like if the wildest hopes and dreams of the elite actually come to fruition. This week, an incredibly creepy concept video that was created by a German molecular biologist named Hashem Algeili is making headlines all over the world. In this video, children are grown in a huge facility that contains hundreds of transparent birthing pods. A new concept video takes viewers on tour through the Ectolife artificial womb facility, where hundreds of fetuses sit in transparent pods that are temperature controlled and feature an umbilical cord to receive oxygen and nutrients. If you have not seen the video yet, you can view it on YouTube by typing Ectolife, the world's first artificial womb facility. I have to admit, that is one of the creepiest things that I have seen in a long time. We are being told that one of the big selling points of such a system would be the ability to create designer babies that are genetically superior to humans that are born the normal way. And if you want your baby to stand out and have a brighter future, our elite package offers you the opportunity to genetically engineer the embryo before implanting it into the artificial womb. Thanks to CRISPR COS9 gene editing tool, you can edit any trait of your baby through a wide range of over 300 genes. By genetically engineering a set of genes, the Elite Package allows you to customize your baby's eye color, hair color, skin tone, physical strength, height, and level of intelligence. It also allows you to fix any inherited genetic diseases that are part of your family history, so that your baby and their offspring will live a healthy, comfortable life, free of genetic diseases. So, what about the embryos that are genetically inferior, or that are simply not wanted for one reason or another? Well, they would either be used for other purposes, or they would be discarded in the trash. In addition to getting perfect babies every time, there would also no longer be any need for the pain of childbirth in such a system. While the video is focused on improving birth rates, it also notes that the birthing farm is for women who fear pregnancy because of the pain and recovery needed after going into labor. Say goodbye to the pain of childbirth and muscle contractions, the video narrator says. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Of course, the elite would not want such perfect children to be ruined by misinformation as they grow older. And so, everything that they would be exposed to, would be strictly monitored and controlled. Sadly, such a system of thought control has already been rapidly developing all around us. 
We already knew that big tech companies were colluding with the government on a very deep level to suppress free speech, but the Twitter files have demonstrated that things were actually far worse than any of us imagined. Government officials systematically targeted specific individuals and specific viewpoints for censorship, and in many cases, big tech companies were more than eager to do what they were being asked to do. It is not okay for the government to suppress free speech, as long as they can get private companies to do the dirty work for them. Our most basic constitutional rights have been trampled on over and over again, and those that were involved need to be held accountable. And if we don't stand up now, they will just keep on doing it. Because this is what the elite desperately want. They want a future in which the flow of information is tightly controlled by them. If you are a rebel that insists on putting out misinformation, the elite envision a system in which such miscreants are dealt with quickly and efficiently. Today, the elite do not have direct control over our finances. But in a future where cash is banned and we are all forced to use their digital currencies, that would all change. Everything that we buy and sell would be tracked, and our currency privileges could be revoked at any time if our social credit scores drop too low. Of course, government-controlled digital currencies are not ready for widespread use yet, but they are coming. In fact, just this week, we learned that the Bank of England has begun consultations on implementing a central bank digital currency. The de facto head of His Majesty's Treasury announced this week that the Bank of England has begun consultations on implementing a central bank digital currency, CBDC, that could usher in the globalist vision of the cashless society in which all transactions are traceable by the government. Chancellor of the Exchequer Jeremy Hunt revealed that, as a part of his Edinburgh reforms of Britain's financial services, the Bank of England will begin consultations on the design of a central bank digital currency, CBDC, which would act as a digital version of the pound sterling. Meanwhile, the EU has also been working on a new digital euro. And the Federal Reserve is now testing a new digital dollar for the United States. Do you think that it is just a coincidence that all of these digital currencies are being developed simultaneously? The truth is that the elite are actively trying to create the dystopian version of the future that they envision for all of us. Unfortunately, most people still do not understand what they are trying to do, and so it is imperative for all of us to try to wake up as many as we can while there is still time. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.